Welcome to the NDT Systems Bubbler Transducer video. We'll cover how to set up a bubbler transducer to work on the Novascope 6000 Precision Thickness Gauge. The way we'll do this is with a T300 water recirculation tank. Bubbler transducers offer advantages over traditional transducers in that they allow a continuous stream of couplet to flow between the probe face and the measured medium. First, let's take a look at how to set up the T300. First, you'll want to connect your T300 to a power source. The AC jack is on the back. It uses 9 volts. Hook it up to a 9 volt power source. Next, you'll want to fill the tank with water. Usually, you want to put 10 to 16 ounces of water in, or at least enough water so that this black section is submerged. I'm going to add a little more water. Next, take a syringe and fill it with water. We'll attach the syringe to this output barb here and inject water until we don't get any air bubbles coming out of the inlet. I'm going to do that one more time, just to make sure there are no air bubbles. If there is air in the pump, you could get cavitation, which may damage it. Next, you'll want to take your bubbler transducer and attach a bubbler cone to it. Attach your probe cable. And set the probe in the holder inside the tank. Next, you'll want to take a hose and connect the output barb here to the input on the probe. Once you're all connected, go ahead and turn the power on. Wait for it to warm up. You may need to increase the flow speed. Now you can adjust the flow speed to its maximum. You'll see a greater column of water over the probe, or you can reduce it lower. Generally, you want to reduce the flow so that it doesn't cause echoes from the movement, but you want it enough so that you get a smooth flow of water from the probe tip. Now we'll calibrate the Novascope 6000 for use with our bubbler transducer and our wax shims. First, connect the probe to the unit. Then go to Setup, go to Factory Default at the top, hit Recall. We're going to set this up from scratch. We'll go to the Side button, hit the Advanced Features On button, turn on our Gate Overlays. Now we have our Trigger Gate here as well as the Waveform. We're only going to be dealing with thicknesses from about 0.1 to 0.5 inches, so let's adjust the range down. Let's go to front, go to the range indicator, and turn it so that we have a maximum of about a little bit more than 0.5. Go to the side again, make sure we're on delay slash immersion mode. Set our pulsar to high, since wax is very attenuative. Now we can go ahead and couple one of these wax shims to our probe. This one is 0 .0099 inches. Couple your sample to your probe, and go to the front. Open the IP wave indicator up here. This will give us a picture, a wide picture, of our waveform. We can see that our interface echo is here, 
and our uh, backwall echo is behind it. Let's increase the gain so that's a bit more clear. To change this picture to uh, match what's on the upper bar, we'll go to the delay button and turn it until our highlighted region on the top bar lines up with the desired area. You can hit course to speed it up a little bit. There we are. We'll go back to fine to decrease the speed of scanning. Now I said this part was about 0.1 inches thick, so we'll have to calibrate the velocity to match. Go ahead and go to the cal button up here. It's already set for thickness. So all we have to do is adjust the knob until our indicated reading matches our actual thickness. There we are. Now if we want to look at a larger shim, we just couple the larger shim to the probe, adjust the sweep, to get a slightly wider picture, actually go ahead and turn off the top wave there. And this little indication here is the back wall from our 0 0.250 inch gym. We can increase that signal by increasing the gain. And we can compensate for this noise by increasing the blocking gate. Let's go to the side. Go to your interface to first echo. Select block. And bring it out. We can decrease the gain a little bit. Get the edge of that. We want to make sure we have a nice flat connection or couple with the probe. It's a little bit messy, so I'm going to pull the damping up a little bit. We're at 50 ohms now. I'll increase that to 150 decrease the gain a bit and that's a much cleaner signal. We're still a little bit off on the thickness. We'll go ahead and cal that again. Let's go back to the little shim. We can't read it because our blocking gate is too far up so we'll bring that back in a little bit. Now we're a little bit off, so we'll adjust the zero this time. And that's much closer to the readings that we want. Now that we've calibrated on wax, we can go ahead and measure a wax sample. We have this vein mold here. Go ahead and use that. We'll pull the blocking in a little bit. reading about 0 0.09 inches. As we increase the thickness of the part we're measuring, we'll also get an increase in the thickness of the reading.
that concludes our bubbler setup. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more about the units, please contact NDT Systems via our website or give us a call. Thanks.